But please welcome Susanna Zama Zamataro, sorry, Susanna, Director General of the International Road Federation. IRF importantly represents industry and road agencies in countries. Susanna will be sharing the success of the 10 step approach in building long lasting, impactful partnerships. It's wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Natalie. Thanks to you and good afternoon, everyone. It's holiday actually in Geneva, but I'm extremely pleased to uh, and happy to take a couple of hours away from family time to talk about um, successful partnerships and how successful partnerships uh, can help deliver um, significant road safety outcomes. And I want to do so exactly as you mentioned by talking about the experience we had with a 10 step uh, project in uh, Tanzania. It was the very first country applying this framework that provides country literally with a step-by-step -step approach to build national capacity for safer road infrastructure and helps them achieve the UN voluntary targets three and four that you have been hearing uh, throughout this event. This was a 36 months project that has really helped embed, embed change in how thousands of new and existing kilometers of uh, Tanzania's roads uh, will be designed, uh, upgraded, upgraded and overall managed. And actually we had some excellent news coming, um, coming in uh, just yesterday from Dar es Salaam and from Dodoma where there's been a clear formal commitment um, that roads and streets will be built or upgraded to meet a three star or better standards. So why is this pilot project e important? It's important because, as many mentioned before, it really showcased how partnerships and evidence-based uh, framework can deliver rapid life-saving improvements in road safety capacity and also performance. The project was delivered by, I would say, a coalition of the willing, literally IRF, IRAP, PIARC, um, UNECA, the Tanzania Road Association, and we engage with literally anyone that had to do anything with safety in the country. And this was possible thanks to the support of the United Nations Road Safety Fund and also the Global Road Safety Facility of the World Bank. And so we came together and we brought our expertise together to build a, la a lasting institutional capacity and regulatory framework to support safer road infrastructure. And not only that, I would say, the component of the project, which was in fact funded by the uh, GRSF, included a specific focus on evaluating the impact of the 10-step project on capacity and transport development corridor uh, projects. And as you can see, some of the incredible results that were achieved um, um, through the slides that you have on the screen. More than 10,000 kilometers of roads and designs have now been assessed using DIRAP methodology in Tanzania. We also did extensive training and capacity building activities and more than 130 people turn out passing the final test to formal training courses. And as a result, we left behind with the project 30 certified road safety auditors and 22 people gaining IRAP accreditation in Tanzania, making Tanzania actually ranking second globally behind Brazil and just ahead of, and ahead of India. And the key milestone of the project was in fact the establishment of a specific Tanzania road assessment program, which will help ensuring systemic, um, systematic assessment of new and existing infrastructure and provide, of course, that objective measure of the level of safety built in uh, the road. And these are just some of the achievements of the project. If we move to the next slide, what is really important is that the project um, um, has created, uh, well, a lot of inspirations in other parts of the world. There's a, a new 10-step project currently being implemented in Senegal, we're also working always in partnership to, um, uh, to um, reform uh, and look um, and update road design standard in, uh, central, in Central Asia, always in partnership with IRAP, with EAST, and thanks to funding from the Road Safety Fund. And um, the same we're doing in Morocco, Mauritania. And I want to mention something that also Esteban mentioned before, the importance of the role of the private sector here. Um, there's a tremendous, tremendous untapped potential still when it comes to operators and concessionaires, exactly for the reason that Esteban was presenting in his presentation. 
I want to conclude uh, by saying to you in the next slide, um, well, extending to you all an invitation to join us at the IRF World Congress in Istanbul this year, 15 to 18 of October, because you will have the opportunity to listen to many of these uh, wonderful stories. And we are closely working with IRAP to, um, to uh, pull together some interesting sessions where you can learn and we will be exchanging on these incredible results. So in conclusions, um, congratulations to IRAP, of course, for making us um, able to drive change and, and delivering significant road safety outcomes. And to all of you just uh, listening there, know that you're not alone. The tools are there and we're all here to help you. Thank you.